Sometimes these uh, strikes get resolved at the last minute. Okay, let's pretend that we know that for a second. <laughs> um, in the meantime, what kind of goods have stopped being transported, and then what's the economic and inflationary effect? Well, they've already stopped ammonia shipments, which are a key ingredient in fertilizer, and that's a big deal for American farmers because ammonia is so volatile. They don't want it sitting around in tank cars if all the trains have to stop. Uh, this afternoon, Norfolk Southern is going to stop taking deliveries of cars at its uh, rail loading sites, so the automakers are going to not be able to transport new vehicles to dealers. And we've already heard uh, Amtrak has canceled some of its long distance service that runs over freight railways, uh, freight owned rail lines. So uh, we're already yep. starting to see some effects, but it, it's obviously, if this goes through, going to be a much, much bigger impact. Uh, as much as $2 billion, as uh, Ritika said, uh, a day, according to the American Railroad Association, uh, and 28% uh, of U.S. freight which uh, would account, according to the American Trucking Association, you'd need 460,000 additional trucks a day wow. to make up for that capacity.